the problem with cell line contamination is even if you start with a cell line that has been identified as being what you expect it to be, for example, a breast cancer cell type, um, you have to be constantly vigilant um, to not cross-contaminate your own samples or get cross-contaminated with a colleague's cell types. The next biggest type of contamination that's problematic that people don't think about enough is mycoplasma contamination. So the reason mycoplasma is a problem is because you won't know that you have a contamination. They are very small. They do not give you visible signs like a pH change or make the growth medium cloudy like other bacteria or fungi do. And the effects on your cells are very severe. They will inhibit growth. They can cause chromosomal aberrations. They can cause morphological changes. Although contaminated cell lines are an ongoing problem, as we move away from using those established cell lines that are carrying hidden contaminants, the end result is that we're getting better models for the body for a given treatment or biological function.